Hey guys, we got the K2 RAM header today. We're gonna unbox this bitch and see what's in there. That was easy. <laughs> this is cool. Gotta love the weather out here. What's up YouTube? Hope you're having a beautiful day. My name's Rob and we're gonna do a review today on the K-tuned Ram style header. We're going a little different approach this time. It's more on the vlog style, raw and edited deal. Then we're gonna see how it rolls and go from there. To dive into it, k -Tune did use 304 stainless steel on this header. I think pretty much on most of their headers except for the 409 series tend to be 304 stainless. Get the cool badge right there. Make sure now you're getting the real k -Tune. Yeah, straight off the bat, dude, this header looks pretty cool. How they can fit this in back of the K-Series because as you guys know, it's a very tight fit back there. It does fit, let's see, <clears throat> the K20 and the K24 heads. And it does fit the DA Integra 90 to 93, EJ, EGs, EG, EK Civic, 92 2000, and the 9401 Integra DC2. It does not fit the CRX or the EF Civic. I have a feeling probably because of the uh, ground clearance or maybe the subframe. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to check with k -Tune and see maybe exactly why. Uh, it does not fit right-hand vehicles either. So any of you international guys that are interested in this, I apologize. It will not fit the right-hand drive. k -Tune, let's see, implemented 44 millimeter primaries all the way down to where it opens up to 47 millimeter secondaries and then to the 50 millimeter down by the neck. They say it's a 65 millimeter two and a half inch opening. Um, I don't know, let's check it out. Let's go measure it and see what uh what it really is. So it looks about two and a quarter on the actual inlet. I'm 99.9% .9 sure it'll fit a two and a half inch flange. They don't include any hardware on this one, so you're gonna have to implement your own and the gasket too. I didn't, I didn't find any in the box, and maybe, maybe it is included. I, I don't know, but just check out the welds. I mean, they're, they're decent. They're not, they're not terrible. Got a little flex pipe in there for you. Help stop any type of damage from hard shifting. And they added another bung in there, which is kind of cool. So you got your O2 bung right here. And it looks like a secondary maybe to run a wideband AM or an innovate gauge. And, you know, some type of wideband gauge for you. K-Tune states that it's good for mid, high to mid range power. So it just helps it from choking up. And, I mean, look at the design. That's pretty cool. I'll snap some installed pictures for you and you can check them out also and I'll throw them in there. This is just like I said a, a quick a quick inside just review style you know just to show you what you get outside the box. So yeah quick and easy buds and uh, I I we have a lot of other stuff coming and, and it's hard for me to try to think of ideas of reviews or even uh, products that you guys want to see so I mean please leave a comment or su suggest something just throw it out there all I can say is no or we'll give it a shot and we'll go from there anything you guys think is cool this is Rob I'll talk to you later bye <laughs>